Customer experience is a big deal when it comes to the success of your brand, and that's what we're talking about this week. Well, this week, I'm really excited to have my friend Lauren here. Lauren, tell us about what you do. So my name is Lauren Fear. I'm the founder and president of Loyalty Craft Consulting, which helps companies create meaningful moments with their customers. I'm passionate about customer experience and helping customers connect with brands and brands connect with customers really by walking in their, their shoes. How do you walk in a customer's shoes? Well, there's a lot of different techniques and tools. There's one that I really like to bring to my workshops and to my clients, and it's the customer persona. So a customer persona is quite different actually than a marketing or a buyer persona. And the reason why is that you're really using actual customer data that you should pull from, from your systems to understand the demographics of the customers that you have. And usually you can find about four or five groups of those customers. It's important then to take the step of actually naming a fictional character that represents that group. Um, so come up with a name, a name that can be remembered, and write that right into your persona. Also find a picture of this person. Um, some companies even go as far as to create a cardboard cutout of this person that they carry around the office with them so that they always think about their customers and have that customer with them at meetings. What's important from there is fill in that dem demographic information. Is the person married? Do they have kids? Where do they live? Where do they work? What kind of job do they have? What kind of income do they bring in? Then think about the adjectives to describe them. What would this person say? Are they a hard worker? Are they creative? Are they analytical? Um, and what's their personal quotation? Then think about the goals that they have um, in terms of interacting with your company and also the pain points that they might have and the whole reason that they came to see you in the first place. It's really important to understand those, those facets of that customer. Ultimately, you wanna get in the hearts and the minds of the customer. And so understanding what a typical day in their life is like, what do they interact with most frequently, and also what do they trust. Once you know that, and you also know how they use social media, how they interact with their devices, uh, and what brands they really, really love and trust, it's very, very helpful in really understanding this person more. So now that we have a customer persona, what do we do with it? So it's really important to take that persona and think about every touch point we have with them. That's called a customer journey map. It's the process of actually thinking about how that customer interacts with you throughout their life cycle or their relationship with your brand. So everything from the very first time they hit your website to walking into a store, to purchasing a product, to unfortunately returning a product, hopefully not. Um, but thinking about what do those touch points look like and how do they meet this person's preferences? Uh, how are they convenient for him or her? And create trust. That's really essential in getting in the hearts and minds of your customers. How would you implement this in a B2B company? In very much the same way. You still need to be thinking about who the customer is and what their needs are. In B2B, I do think it's more about the relationships and how to really build trust uh, with the various stakeholders and sponsors, uh, and people you work with day to day. So it's understanding perhaps more personas than what a typical consumer is, but actually understanding all the folks that you interact with in terms of that relationship and the way in which they'd like to be served. Awesome. I, I know this is going to help a lot of you out there make a big change in your business, and I'm so excited. So if someone wants to get this template, where can they find it? Sure. They can download it off my website, www.loyaltycraft.com. Uh, if you have more questions, actually, about walking in a customer's shoes and tools to do so, you can email me at lauren at loyaltycraft.com. Awesome. And I'll make sure that I put a link to that template in the description below and in the card up above. Thank you for watching this week's video. I appreciate it. Like, comment, share. Make sure you follow Lauren on social media, and I'll see you in the next video.